So we are here with Dylan, and we're talking about Clearline Fiber Cable. So can you talk a little bit about the cable and what makes it so special? Yeah, so we have a patented um, coating around our fiber. It's a polymer coating, kind of mm -hmm. like what's used in tempered glass, mm -hmm. you know, windshields, cars, mm -hmm. uh, phone screens. Mm -hmm. That helps the strength member of the fiber. So that's what allows us to say our fiber is 10,000 times the bend and sensitivity and the bend mm -hmm. tolerance of any other fiber in the world. Now, how many strands of fiber can I have in one cable? So in one three millimeter jacket, which is about this size, you can fit up to 24 strands of fiber. 24 strands? Yep. Okay. And um, and each strand could carry up to like 100 gigabits per second? Uh, it's unlimited at this point. Unlimited. So it I guess it what, is light, basically. Yeah, what the device is capable of doing is what the fiber is mainly capable of doing right now. Okay. But, uh, you know, 100 gig, 150 gig, wherever it's going to go, fiber's going to yeah. be able to do so, it. So say this piece is a single strand, right? Yep. But but even if I was going to pull this, I'd probably pull one with multiples, yeah. just in case, just one, in of case. Them, one of them got, one of the one of the strands is bad, yeah. you have some more in the in the line yeah. to make up for it. And I've noticed that AV Pro uses like clear line fiber in many of their bullet train optical bullet train cables. Bullet train HDMIs. And yeah. All and that. I actually had, have a few of their older 18 gigabit, now I'm going to go get the new 40 gigabit oh, yeah. um, fiber extenders. A lot of times when you see this cable, you would think it'd be quite intimidating to to um, to terminate, yes. to go into a maybe an extender. But I was here yesterday, and you guys walked me through the process, and it's quite it's quite straightforward. Pretty so straight why forward. don't you show me this? Of course. And, and um and then so so, I, so we can show other people that isn't as yeah. terrifying as you would think. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert the boot onto the cable. We're going to strip back just a couple inches of the jacket and just pull that off. We're actually going to bounce the fiber out of the Kevlar. And so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to take off. We have a soft peel acrylate on our fiber. Most other fibers have a hard acrylate that you have to strip off. Ours, you actually take your fingernail and you strip it off. So all this coloring comes off and goes down to what looks like the bare glass. But because of our polymer coating, it's not going to puncture the soft tissue in your skin. It's super bendable. You don't have to worry about too much, you know, breaking, cracking, anything like that. We also don't require any cleaning. So we're down, like I said, we're down to what looks like the bare glass. But because of that polymer coating, we're never actually exposing the bare glass to the raw elements of dust, pollen, dirt, um, oils, anything like that. So once we're down to that level, we're gonna take our cleaver. Once we insert into the connector, we find our measurement, which for this connector is 28. We push that down. And now what's happening is we're creating tension across the glass. So when I push this in, the light goes away, but we have the light coming straight out of the core now. Once we've cleaved it, we grab our connector. The connectors are pre-polished, pre-terminated. We're gonna insert the fiber into the little channel down here we're looking for our indication light right here. So this window actually locks forward. So when I push the fiber up, we're gonna lock that window in place. Now we have light coming through the connector. We relax the fiber back a little bit, bring the jacket or the boot up from the jacket, lock it in place. We lock some of the Kevlar into the threads of the connector for strain relief. Twist the boot up the rest of the way put our slide on and we're done. So so that is pretty straightforward. Yeah. Now the cool thing about this is this cable can be terminated multiple times, correct? Multiple times, correct. So in the future, if there's a different type of connection you want to put onto it, you, you can Take the something. connector off, put a new one on, and now you can reuse that connector. Okay, so let me ask you another question. So I have this beautiful, say when I bought a 18 gigabit optical um, bullet train cable. Yeah. And in the future, oh my gosh, I need 48 um, gigabits. And now there's a whole nother terminal in the future. I don't know, HBMI, yeah. right? <laughs> so what can, can I, I can just basically cut that cable. You can cut the HDMI head off and repurpose the four fibers that are inside because it's SSF fiber. Okay, so just cut them and then I can just continue to use that cable. So it's, yep. it really is a, a buy once, cry once proposition. I like once to call I, it, it's a two for one cable. Yeah, so once you put it in there, because <laughs> basically those it, those tips on the optical cable is basically converting light, I mean electricity to light going in yep. and then light back to electricity coming out. 
Yeah, ele cool. electrons to photons. Exactly. Yep. So, so in the future, if you need a new way of doing that, the cable's still good. You just would basically re, you would just terminate it again yep. and add the new cable. Yep. So just repurpose the cable. Yeah. So when I saw that, I it's funny. I had this whole kit in my house. Yeah. Like the whole the whole kit right there, and I was always intimidated to try it. Now I'm just gonna go home and and start cutting and terminating cables just so I can have another have another thing in my toolbox. And it isn't that much harder, like you said, than, uh, it's than, not doing, hard. A, than doing a pair. Cat, I think it takes longer to do Cat 5. I think it cat does. Cat 6, uh, hey, getting all the wires together and everything yeah, else. Yeah, I've done Cat and I've done Fiber, yeah. and both of them, I will say, Cat's, I mean, it takes longer mm -hmm. undoing the twisted pairs and all of that. But, you know, traditional Fiber, mm -hmm. it is hard. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's, it doesn't, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. We made it easy for everyone to use. Okay, and to learn more about um, Clearline's offerings, mm -hmm. um, where should they go? Uh, Clearline.com, C-L-E-E-R-L-I-N-E.com. Okay, so, so Dylan, thank you for your time. Of course, thank you.